Hi everyone, welcome to Lotus Moon Yoga. My name is Corinne. Today we're going to do a relatively short sequence for stress release and we'll work on stretching the lower back, back of the legs, our hamstrings, and we'll do some neck stuff and shoulder rolls. So I would suggest, so you have it handy, um, if you have a yoga strap, please grab your yoga strap. And if you don't have a yoga strap, a uh, bathrobe belt works really well. And if you have a yoga block, have your yoga block handy. And if you don't have a yoga block, you can use a larger size textbook. All right? Okay, let's get started. So coming into a comfortable seated cross-legged position or if you would rather kneel, come into a kneeling position. Just letting your hands rest comfortably on your lap. When you're ready, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Just take the next few moments to transition from whatever you had going on before you came to your mat. Allow yourself to slowly connect to your breath. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, Begin to find your own rhythm of your breath. And if you can, slow it down. Inhaling very slowly. And releasing with your exhale slowly. Allowing yourself to do a short body scan. We'll do it together starting at the very top of the head. And then slowly come down your forehead to the space between the eyebrows and relax. If you can, soften the thin skin surrounding your eyes coming down the bridge of your nose to your cheeks. Softening into the jaw region, lips, mouth, and tongue. Continue to take these deep breaths in and imagine that you're stretching your exhale. And then coming down your neck muscles and the shoulders, down your arms to your hands and tips of the fingers. Coming down the shoulders, middle of the back, front of the chest and then right down to your lower back and if you notice the muscles wrapping around to your belly, just pause here for a moment with a couple of nourishing breaths. And then coming down your hips, front and back of your legs, your knees, and all the way down the rest of your legs to your ankles, tops of the feet, bottoms of the feet, tips of the toes. And then take a deep, deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it out an exhale as though you're steaming up or creating a little bit of steam on a window. Returning to your own regular breath, continue with your eyes opened or closed. And we'll move into some gentle neck rolls. So release the right ear to your shoulder. And then slowly come back up to center, left ear to the shoulder. 
and come back up through center. Come forward, release your chin towards your chest. Come back to center and then tilt your head back ever so slightly. If you can, keep your mouth closed and you'll feel a nice stretch in the front of your neck and to the chest and then come back to center. Good, lift your hands up off your knees and begin to make some nice little rotations in the wrists. You might hear some popping coming from your wrists and some wiggles of your fingers. Good, and then spread your arms away from your hips and press your fingertips into the earth and feel a long length of the spine here. Try to relax your shoulder blades down towards your lower back. Take a deep breath in, we'll do it one more time. Exhale, right ear to the shoulder. But this time we're going to roll the chin towards the right collarbone. Roll your chin along the chest and then rotate so now that your left ear is facing your left shoulder. Now coming back, rotate your neck so your chin is in towards your left collarbone. Slowly rotating over towards the right. And when you're ready, breathe your head over top of your shoulders, coming back to neutral. Turn your palms up to face the sky. Inhale, draw your arms up towards your shoulders. And then begin with a little twist over to the right side. You can let your hands land or your front hand land on your right knee. Take a couple of breaths here. On your next exhale, slowly come back and rotate to center. Stretch the arms away from your hips. Inhale with your palms facing up. Exhale, let the arms float down. Twisting over to the left side. And depending how it feels in your neck muscles and shoulder muscles, you might want to turn your chin right towards your left shoulder or you might decide to keep it more in a neutral position. Take a couple of deep breaths here. And when you're ready, exhale, come back to center. Inhale, one shoulder at a time up towards your earlobe and exhale it down towards your hip. Feel free to close your eyes here and just allow yourself to turn inwards as we prepare for today's yoga session, yoga for stress release, and come back to center. Lean back on your hands and send your legs out in front. Give your legs a little bit of a shake here. Good. And then come on to your hands and knees. <clears throat> if you have a small little blanket, I'm using a sarong here for your knees. Just spread that out and come into tabletop position here. All right. So just allow yourself a couple breaths here in tabletop, toes pointing back or toes curled under, wherever you'd like. So as you take your first deep breath in, expand into the diaphragm, expand into the ribs and the belly. And then as you exhale, hug your belly button up towards the spine, but don't let your spine cur curl yet here. We're not quite coming into cat pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhale deeply. And exhale, hugging the belly button up towards your spine. 
Now moving through your cat cow sways. Starting once again in tabletop. Take a deep breath in, turning your tail up. Draw the head back. Try to keep your arms strong and long. And then exhale. Moving into cat pose, rounding out the spine. Strong in the arms. Hug your belly button towards your lower back. And move through about three or four more. Inhale to cow. Exhale into cat. And again, you can keep your toes curled under or your toes back. Exhale. Inhale. Into cat. Last one. Inhale into cow posture. Open up across the chest. Take your time and exhale back into cat. Let it out. Let all the breath out of your lungs. And we come back to neutral spine. Preparing to come into child's pose. You can either bring your toes together and sink your bum back and then lower yourself down to your mat or you might be more inclined to keep your bum up in the air depending how it feels on your knees and then lower down towards your mat and if you have that textbook or block you can rest your forehead down instead on the block so just finding that comfort level if you wear glasses, take your glasses off and they won't press up into your nose or your face here. So just take about four or five deep breaths here in resting child's pose, concentrating or focusing again on long inhalations. And imagine that as you exhale, you stretch the breath. Whenever you're ready, let's begin to prepare to come back onto all fours and back into your tabletop position, perhaps needing to put your glasses on once again. Curl your toes under, really spread your fingers out and, ground, and press your hands into the earth and as you begin to lift your hips up into the air, and come into downward dog. Just begin by pedaling your heels down one at a time. Pressing your heart towards your thighs. It's breathing and opening up into the back of your hamstrings, back of the legs. If ever your arms or hands get tired here, come down into resting child's pose. You get a little bit of fatigue in your shoulders. Your resting child's pose can be with your arms down by your side legs and rest your head down. Good. So wherever you are, if you are in back into child's pose, prepare to come back onto all fours. If you are still in downward dog, you can... Move into our next position from downward dog. Step the right leg forward. So we're going to come into a gentle hip flexor lunge here. Toes of the back leg or back foot can be curled under or pointing back. And then just begin to ease into a lunge. Keeping in mind that we want to keep the front knee and the front ankle lined up and then again if you want have your block or a blanket or not a blanket but a textbook you can rest your hands on the block or textbook 
Good. So you should be feeling a good stretch in the left hip flexor. A couple more breaths here. Close your eyes to internalize your breath and where you're feeling it and where you're feeling the most opening or the biggest stretch. As you're ready to exhale, lower your hands down, move the block out of the way, and then just sit, slowly shift your weight back so that you come into your hamstring stretch of the right leg. And again, you can have the block underneath your hands here. Try to lengthen your spine here as opposed to having a rounded out back. Breathing in, breathing out. Last exhale, let the block go, walk the hands forward, bend the right knee, and then slowly bring that leg back so that we meet back into tabletop. Lift up your feet and your shins and just begin by twisting your lower back from side to side. And then lower your legs down. Come back into child's pose or downward facing dog. And we'll take a few breaths in child's pose or downward dog before we switch to the left leg stepping forward. Good. So either from your downward dog position or from all fours, lift the left leg and step up forward, lower the right knee down, keep the left knee and ankle stacked and then you can have your block in front to rest your hands on. Back foot can either point back or curl your toes under. Keep your gaze forward so that you can really again focus on the opening in the right hip flexor, the front of your right hip. Continue with some deep breaths here. Take a deep, deep breath here. One more deep breath. And exhale, the body's cue to shift the weight back. Walk your block with you. Now you can either keep the foot flexed, turn the toes up towards the shin, but if you're feeling a big pull in the back of this left leg, just let your foot relax a little bit here. Concentrate more on lengthening your spine Good. And for three more breaths. And take a deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly walk your hands forward. Bend the front knee. And then slide the left leg back. And some movement in the lower back here. Set your feet and your shins down. Open your knees up just a little bit wider. And we're going to do a little bit of shoulder work here. So left arm lifts up on an inhale. Exhale, lower the left arm down. Switch sides, change your weight. Shift your weight, right arm reaches up. Exhale, lowers down. Inhale, left arm, we'll do three to each side. Exhale, left arm lowers, switch to the right. And exhale down, last one. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one to the right, inhale up, exhale down. 
Draw your knees together and then sit back on your heels. If sitting on your heels isn't an option for you, feel free to come up to lifting your bum up off your heels. Okay. Inhale your arms forward. Exhale your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Take a deep breath in here, and as you inhale, lengthen the arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And slowly exhale, bend your elbows. Now we're going to move into some movement here. And you might have to modify it for your knees, so give it a try and see how it feels, and then I can show you a modification. So our inhale is going to, we're going to lift our bum off our heels and come forward, lowering our head right down towards the mat. Take a couple of breaths of this position. And when you're ready, exhale, slowly come back. Good, and one more time, inhale, come forward. Lifting your bum off your heels. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Exhale, come back. So if that feels okay for you, do a couple more of those. I'll show you a couple different modifications. One is hands on your hips or just hands down by your side. So you inhale and as you exhale, you come forward and place your hands down and lower your head. We take a couple of breaths here. And then exhale, come back. So there's one way to do it modified. And then another way to do it modified, if your knees don't like to be bent that deep, is you lift your bum up off your heels. So hips over top of the knees, hands either on your hips or interlace behind your back. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you just slowly lower. You don't even need to come all the way down unless that's okay for you. You can even come halfway down and then come up. So a couple different ways to do that posture. All right. <clears throat> Coming back to a seated cross-legged position. So either you have your right leg in front, or if it feels okay, lift and place your right leg over top of your left leg. Some people use a block. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and as you're ready to exhale, slowly roll forward into a forward fold. And again, hands are in front where you have your block and your hands are resting on your block. Let's take three or four deep breaths here. Breathing in, breathing out. Exhale, slowly make your way back to center. Inhale your arms either to your shoulders or into a glorious V, and we'll exhale into a side bend. Breathing in. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, turn your palm away from your head and come back to center. Palms face up. In breath, exhale, side bending the other way. You can draw this shoulder back, left shoulder back. Feel the length in your spine, heart coming forward. And to slowly come back, turn your palm up. You might feel the rotation in the shoulder. If, it feel, if it's too much, keep the palm down. And exhale, come back up to center. Lower your arms. Either lean back on your hands to stretch your legs out or sit up tall and give your legs a little shake and then switch to the other side. So left ankle crossed in front or stack. 
Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come into that forward bend. Again, lengthening in the lower back so that you feel it in the glute muscle or right back in the piriformis. Couple more deep breaths here. Breathing in and out. When you're ready, slowly come back up. And then we'll do the side bends again. Inhale your arms to your shoulders or a little bit higher into a glorious V. Exhale over to the right. Breathing in. Maybe your arm is more comfortable with a little soft elbow. Maybe you're more comfortable to straighten the arm. It's up to you. Turn the palm to face up. Exhale, come back. Palms face up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, over to the other side. Breathing in. Lengthen the spine here. Try to keep your left hip from bouncing away from the earth here. Turn your palm up. And come back to center. Lower your arms and shake up the legs. Okay, preparing to come into a supine position. If you want to use your um, blanket or sarong or towel, whatever you are using behind your head, use, be, use it behind your head. Have your strap or if you're using a bathrobe ready, close to you. And then Make your way down onto your back. Stretch your legs to the corner edges of your mat and stretch your arms above your head. Just take a nice big deep stretch here. Good. And then bend your knees so that your toes are pointing forward. And have your strap ready. So we'll start with the left leg first. Just lift your left foot up off your mat and wrap the strap around your foot and then send your foot up into the air. I like to wrap the strap around my hands once or twice. Good, and just go into a nice gentle hamstring stretch. We don't need to go past 90 degrees. So we want to keep our leg, left leg at 90 degrees. And then if it's comfortable enough for you, straighten your right leg. Good. And breathe into the left hamstring. Right back in here, you should be feeling a stretch. Some people will feel it in the calf muscle as well. Good. And a couple more breaths here. When you're ready, take the strap off your foot. Let the straps just sit down beside you. Stretch your arms down, press your palms down to the earth, and then slowly lower the left leg down. Good. Now relax the body and take two or three breaths and notice if the legs feel different or notice if your left leg feels longer than your right, a little bit longer. Take a deep breath in through your nose and expand your belly and your diaphragm and then exhale slowly. Switching sides. So come into a bent knee position, feet pointing forward. Get your strap again, place it around your right foot and straighten the leg, foot. Press your foot up into the air. Wrap your strap or uh, bathrobe belt a couple times around your hands. Good, and begin to just get a sense of how that feels in the back of the right leg. Might feel quite different than the left leg. Now you can really, really press your foot or, or your toes in towards your shin and your heel up towards the sky. 
to enhance or get a deeper stretch in the back of your leg if you need to. Try to send your left leg towards the mat. See if, notice if it feels different in the back of the right leg. Good, and a couple more deep breaths. If the hamstrings are fairly tight, you should probably bend this knee and you'll still feel an opening in the back of the right hamstring. Good, now we'll go for a little bit of strengthening here. So let the strap go and then slowly lower the right leg down. Relax your hips. Make sure your shoulders and your hips are relaxed. Notice now if the right leg feels a little bit um, or the same length as the left leg. Take a couple of breaths here and then when you're ready bend both knees and then hug your knees in towards your shoulders holding your knees with, with your, your hands just gently rock from side to side. Now either resting your feet down on the mat or coming into supine spine, place one hand on your heart, one hand just below your navel. If you can, close your eyes here and take about three or four deep, deep breaths into your belly, and into your heart. One more, breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose or your mouth. And then slowly lowering your arms down, palms facing up towards the sky, or you might choose to let your hands rest on your lower belly for Shavasana. We'll take a few moments in Shavasana. Close your eyes and just simply allow yourself to be in this moment on your mat, in your body, breathing in, breathing out, just relaxing the big muscles of your legs, your hips, your rib cage. and shoulders, relax your arms, relax your head. And when you're ready, just begin to bring some movement into your fingers and toes, nodding your head side to side. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. And then roll onto your side body. You can bend your elbow, rest your head on your elbow for a breath or two. And then slowly press yourself back up to your comfortable seat. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hands together at your heart or rest your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in. And let it out, exhale. Namaste.